We're talking weather now at Meteorologist <laughs> Maria Ruiz, and I think everyone just really enjoyed that nice kind of cool morning here to get out and maybe take a nice walk, walking out to your car. It, it just felt good, but... It didn't feel awful, right? right? It's not sticking around. Yeah, and actually, Clue, for the first time in August, okay. we dipped below 80 degrees. For the first time? For the first time. Okay. It's August 15th. It took us half the month mm -hmm. to dip under 80 degrees. Mm -hmm. That happened at 2 this morning, but something else that that front brought along is the elevated fire danger that does stay here through this week. I mentioned this at the top of the hour, but it has to do with the ongoing drought, the dry fuels in place, the low humidity thanks to that dry north wind. The breezy can Conditions at times, and this is going to be for all of North Texas for the rest of the week. And let me show you why. This is a measure of moisture. We call it the dew point. The lower the number is, the less moisture there is in the air. These numbers early in the summer were in the upper 60s, low 70s. They've dropped significantly because of that front. So now we're looking at dry air. That dry air is what's going to fuel some of the dry fuels. Think of the dead grass, think of just dry vegetation, and the temperatures. They're not as bad as what they were, say, a couple days ago, but they're still on the warm side. So all of that works together to create an elevated fire danger. Make sure to avoid any activities that could start sparks because fires will spread quickly. 86 degrees right now in Fort Worth and in Dallas, Denton, 84 in McKinney, 85 in Decatur. These temperatures are about 10 degrees lower than at this point. 24 hours ago. Uh, it's definitely going to see some low humidity continue, not just today, but the dew points, those numbers I was just talking about stay in the 50s, Wednesday, Thursday. That's when we call it comfortable kind of air. It starts to get sticky when those numbers jump into the 60s, which I am expecting Friday, Saturday, and on Sunday. On Thursday, by the way, we're going to see our temperature climb pretty quick, and it has to do with the dry air that's going to still be in place. Okay, so I mentioned that we were not below 80. August has been very warm, uh, hot, so 80 degrees was the temperature we reached at 8 in the morning, July 30th. We stayed above 80 degrees until this morning at 2. That's when we dipped below 80. That broke a record for consecutive hours at 80 degrees or higher for 377 this year. The last time we saw anything close to that was 356 hours in 1998, around this time of the year. So luckily we did dip below 70 or below 80, but we're now at 87 degrees. Degrees. We're looking at a blue sky overhead. Your forecast high temperature of 94 in Dallas and 95 in Fort Worth, 94 in Denton, 92 in McKinney. These numbers are actually a little lower than what's considered normal. Normal for this time of the year is about 96. A few locations across our Red River counties could very well stay in the upper 80s. Our high temperature, like I mentioned, it's climbing. We're making it into the triple digits on Thursday. If we make it to 107, it'll tie a record high that was set in 1951. Those numbers are climbing quick, and this is why we had that front come through. High pressure is centered over New Mexico, but over the course of the next several days, it's going to expand, and as it does, it's going to make our temperature climb. Look at this. 108 on Friday will be possible. This is going to center itself over portions of the plains, and that's what's going to keep areas very dry as well. So we're looking at little to no rain for a big portion of not just Texas, but a big portion of the plains where that high is centered. You can see all the dry air there. So again, temperatures right back in to the triple digits the next couple of mornings, though. We'll be in the mid-70s, so enjoy it while you can, Cleo. Okay, <laughs> thanks, everybody else.